I ain't got good. Too so good. <laughs> <laughs> May not come when you want it, but he what? Y'all always on time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How we gonna celebrate? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who this be, it's your girl Kyler B coming at you with a new video. So today we're going to be talking about The Bachelorette Season 16, Episode 4. This is the last episode of Clear, the whole Clear and Dale saga. So let's get right into this episode. We finally have Tasha, Tasha Adams, because I'm just like, I'm, I was calling her Tashia. And then I hear Chris Harrison say, Tasha Adams is coming. I'm just like, so her name is Tasha, Really? But, um, yeah, so this episode was basically, you know, since it's the last episode of Claire, they had to obviously drag it out. So the first part of the episode is Claire, um, I guess she was writing in her diary, I don't know. And then Chris Harrison, he comes in and he was like, um, the road that we're going down we can't continue to do this like let me know the 411 what is going on here because this is not looking good we need to talk okay um and we need to have a serious honest just you and me talk right now the guys in the house are unhappy they're confused these are good guys and they're not dumb these are yeah. smart men they know what's going on yeah the path we're on right now, we can't continue. Be totally and completely honest with me. No I totally am like head over heels for Dale. He's amazing. So he was like, tell me what's like, what's going on? So he told, so she told him that, you know, she's basically all in with Dale. Like there's no other guy that really does it for her other than Dale. So, so she's basically all set on Dale. So after that long, like five minute conversation, you have Chris coming in while the guys is like thinking like, oh, what's going on? You know, you know she didn't give us a rose last time and blah, blah, blah. And like, what's going on with Claire? Cause they're all kind of like a little heated. So Chris comes in, he tells the guys like, there's not gonna be a cocktail party and there's not gonna be a rose ceremony. So after he says that, he pulls Dale for a chat. <laughs> and I'm like, it's actually, it was actually better for him to do it outside because I bet you if he did talk to him and say like, oh, Claire, Claire wants to have a, like a whole day with you in front of all the guys right there, they would have felt some type of way. I mean, even though they already do feel some type of way. So they're all wondering like, why Chris pulls da only Dale for a chat? So they, Chris tells Dale like, you know, Claire wants to spend the whole day with you. Um, they want to have dinner together, blah, blah, blah. So he's been gone from that house with the guys. Like he never came back. So that's kind of like good on them because I bet you they would have like probably been barred Dale with a bunch of questions when he came, when he, he came back from the whole day or day with Claire. So after that, Dale and Claire, they have a date and Claire's like basically expressing her emotions to um, Dale, telling him like she loves him. So she loves him and that um, telling her about, you know, her family and stuff like that. So like the way that they were like editing these like little uh, cliffhangers a little bit was like making you seem like Dale wasn't too into it or Dale wasn't gonna say anything but obviously he said you know he loves her too everything whatever so then they spend the night together so the guys are like what happened to Dale like he's been gone you know 18 hours now so where's Dale so um I think Ben was like oh Claire wouldn't let Dale spend the night with her and I'm just like, sir, <laughs> that's what, exactly what happened. So after that was said, Chris was like, um, well, the next step is a proposal, is engagement. So 
he's he told Claire that. And then Claire had to come in and she had to speak had to speak to the guys because basically she has not spoken to the guys ever since that day where she was interrogating them about like what Dale said after the roast. So she came into the she came into the room with the guys and you know they had to ask her questions because you know, rightfully so, they all signed up to be on this experience, this factual experience, and it's just like, they got cut short, the whole experience got cut short because Claire basically had an epiphany and she basically found, you know, the person that she wanted to marry as soon as he stepped out of the limo. So, they were asking her questions and there was like a couple of guys that were like, you know, you also apology, like, you was an apology, like we basically got robbed of this situation. And there was guys, like the guys that said that they didn't even have time for Claire, so they didn't really care. But the other guy, I think it was Blake, like Blake and the other guy was like very um, upset because I think Blake, he put his time and effort into like finding Claire. He was the guy that um, reached out to Claire in quarantine when he wasn't supposed to and he felt like you know oh dale wasn't you know the right person for him for um claire and you know he felt some type of way and then there was another guy i really don't know his name um <laughs> so he uh he was just like i like and put my emotions into claire and you know finding out that it got cut short because of the whole situation like he was feeling a bunch of type of way like some type of way so then next thing you know the guy was like, you know, Claire was like, I'm not gonna apologize for like, you know, for love. But um, she has to apologize because she did waste their time. Because I mean, Claire, like the guy really read her. Like, I don't know if he got like some inside scoop, but he basically said like, you basically wasted our time because you knew you liked Dale since day one. And then you faked the whole experience leading up to now so like maybe two weeks in three weeks in they're on they're in now basically fake the whole experience so he basically read her because that's exactly kind of what she was doing like since day one she was all into dale i don't think anybody really she didn't really like anyone like that then she liked dale but she was just keep on going with the motions and then i think after the whole Yosef situation that solidified it with her that because Dale came to her rescue basically gave her the comfort and basically everything that she needed in that moment so she was like okay yeah Dale's the Zach, that is Dale is the one for her so with that being said she basically couldn't fake it anymore because obviously she didn't give anybody a rose she basically hasn't spoken to anybody until after her whole day that she spent with Dale. So, I mean, yeah, she was doing the process until the Yosa situation, but I mean, that's what it is. So, yeah, so she, you know, some of the guys are like Ivan and then the other guys are like, you know, it's okay, it's fine. So then Chris was like, you know, we never did this before, but we're gonna bring in a new bachelorette. So you're gonna have, you know, a decision to like to stay or you're gonna have a decision to go. So like the guys are gonna have time to uh, think about their decisions. And I think I'll pull up a picture, <laughs> but one of those guys, um, he, you know, the one that was very much emotionally um, invested in Claire besides, um, Besides Blake, there are 16 guys remaining and there's gonna bring four, I read that there's gonna be four new guys coming in later on, but we'll see. So after the whole situation, like her speaking to the guys, you know, Chris got on FaceTime with some guy who basically, I guess, has the ring for the engagement. And he basically, they got set up to do for Dale to propose to Claire. With that being said, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. You're doing it. Oh my God. I'm doing it. You're doing it. Claire, will you marry me? Yes. Claire Moss? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
my god. So they actually got proposed, they got, you know, engaged, and they basically are together. So that's basically it. They're together now. They basically showed you like a little short snippet at the end of the episode of them living together outside of the bachelor bubble. So, and it looks like that's gonna, they're gonna have like a little interview to see like if they were lying about knowing each other beforehand or was this the truth and you know how they like to edit and make everything seem more than what it, what it is. So, I mean, I feel like Claire really hasn't spoken to Dale after like before the show started so but who knows we'll see so that was basically the episode the episode was basically the end of the claire and dale saga and now taisha taisha adams is in here she's the new bachelorette and we're gonna see we're basically we've been waiting for this since basically episode one i know a lot of people haven't tuned in to the previous episodes because they're just like where is taisha coming in like come on get taisha um, I'm not sure if there's going to be two hour episodes um, the for the rest of the remaining of the episodes because I feel like the two hour episodes are basically just to wrap, hurry up and wrap up um, Claire's storyline or basically process in The Bachelorette. But who knows, you might get two hour episodes or we might just get one hour episode of um, Tasha's journey on The Bachelorette. But other than that, the episode was just basically, it is what it is. Uh, Claire and Dale are together, they're engaged, and they're still engaged, and yeah, if they don't look bad together, I mean, it sucks for the guys because the guys really kind of, you know, they're right, they're rightfully to be, you know, so like Chris, like Chris said, like they didn't really get the full experience, but you know, don't be, don't be upset because we're going to have Tasha to come in. We're gonna have Tasha to come in. So, we're gonna see Tasha soon. And yeah, next episode, we're reviewing Tasha Adams. Let's see who who do you guys think that she will end up with or who she will pick? Who do you want her to, you know, seek out? So, anyway, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, like the video, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, comments, and concerns. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.